So we've talked about what oil is, dead plants and animals falling into marine environments. Many millions, hundreds of millions of years ago, and being cooked under high temperature and pressure. And this creates a whole range of carbon atom chains. The lightest ones are natural gas, methane, ethane, propane. Then we get into the liquid hydrocarbons, the ones with 5 to maybe 12, 13 carbons. Clearly, there are chains of carbon that are longer. And they're not liquids. They're solids, they're tar-like consistencies. This is not coal. Coal is formed in freshwater environments. So this is still a side oil, but it's stuff that really isn't going to go anywhere unless it gets warm enough to flow. So in some locations, particularly in the central plains of Canada, it's always really cold. I remember one place saying their average temperature was minus 40. I'm not sure, that seems really cold to me. And of course you can ask, is that minus 40 Fahrenheit or minus 40 Celsius? Well, guess what, they're the same. It's just plain cold. In this region, where it's that cold, these hydrocarbon chains have never been warm enough to leak out. And the advantage of that means that they don't have to be in a geological trap. So tar sands in cold environments can exist just below the surface. And you can get to them not by drilling a pipe down and trying to pump something out, but rather by digging them up in a big giant bulldozer. It's still a mixture of sand plus these heavier hydrocarbons. In fact, it takes about 2.4 tons of sand to make one barrel of oil. It's a lot of volume to move, but the extraction method is relatively simple. You heat it up. You heat it up enough so that the carbon-containing chains turn to a liquid. Some of them even break up so that it stays as a liquid. And now you have crude oil. Slightly different form, a little bit heavier than some of the light oil from Texas or Saudi Arabia, but it's still crude oil, and there's enormous amounts. Pictures you can see of the Canadian tar sands, vast open plains of black-looking sandy dirt, and the machines to extract it, enormous bulldozers, enormous trucks, very truly large-scale operation. Tar sands this large oily chains, these high carbon length chains, tiny little black dots maybe in the sand. If I heat it up, you can easily see oil coming out. And we can do that with a very simple demo. We take some tar sands and we provide heat. When you provide heat from the bottom, you can see that liquid just starts coming out of the sands. 